welcome to another edition of Eagles on Air. I'm your host, Bo Terry and Andy. Let's get to your top headlines. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Hughes. I have some library news. First, I want to tell you about uh, Read Across America Week. We will be celebrating that next week, March 2nd through the 6th. And there's some exciting things going on. Uh, Miss Tim's class is going to be Skyping with another school here locally in Garland County. Uh, third grade's doing some Skyping next week. Also, we are Skyping with a scientist. They're working on a science project with Miss uh, Pratt. They're researching their animals and habitats. So we are going to Skype with a scientist next week. So that's exciting. Uh, we will have some dress up days for Dr. Seuss week or Read Across America week. Monday, we're gonna be reading The Cat in the Hat Comes Back. So wear your crazy hats. On Tuesday, we're going to be reading Green Eggs and Ham. So dress in green. Wednesday, we're going to be reading I Can Read With My Eyes Shut. So wear a shirt that you can read. On Thursday, we're going to be reading The Foot Book. So wear your crazy mismatch socks or shoes. Friday, we're going to be reading one of Miss Hughes' favorites, Hooray for Diff and Do for Day. So wear your school colors. Uh, let's give you a result on our AR reading. Right now, kindergarten is rocking it. 10 points, kindergarten, good job. First grade has 3,870 AR points. They are in the lead. Sixth grade, you're gonna have to get with it. Uh, second grade has 1,939 points. Third grade has 1,213. Fourth grade has 1,390. Fifth grade has 1,058. Sixth grade, 2,902. You're gonna have to really get after it. Sixth grade if you're gonna catch first grade. Uh, next week, we're also doing Read Across America Week. We're going to be having a readathon. So, this is your chance, sixth grade, to catch up with first grade. We are going to be recording minutes read all next week. And the class that reads the most is going to have a popsicle party provided by Epic. Thank you, Epic. Uh, and last but not least, I feel like there was something else I needed to tell you. I guess that's it. Oh, yes, I do know. I'm ordering new books because of our book fair. We had, um, we earned 800 Scholastic bucks, and so I'm going to be ordering some books from Scholastic, so be on the lookout for new books. All right, you guys have a great week. How do readers are leaders to find out about the latest reading truths? Did you know there are hundreds of book series? Are you ready to get excited about reading and looking at different book series? Do you have a favorite? Let's see. The Sun and the Wind had a contest on a spring summer day. This is what happened. The sun and the ice makes a in a blue coat comes along on the road when let's have a challenge to see see who is stronger if you can make the man take off his coat you win the man I can make him take it off. The sun became
Welcome to the Serenity and Kevin show. We're going to tell you what an adverb is. An adverb is a um, action that happens. But what's so important about an adverb? Well, Kevin, an adverb is it is like a girl running quickly. Oh, that's what's so important about it. So do you get it? Yes, sir, and I did. I did. Welcome to the Jada and Kara show. What's a pronoun? A pronoun takes the place of a noun. Give me some examples. Uh, it, she. Oh. Now in social studies headlines. Jewel Plummer Cobb was born in January 17, 1924. She died on January 1, 2017. She was famous for her work with skin pigment and cells. And she led people, mostly women, uh, to go into science-related uh, jobs and titles, uh, so, like herself. And her quote, one of her famous quotes was, I think I would like to be remembered as a black woman scientist who cares mostly about women going into science. Katherine Johnson is an American mathematician whose 35 year career at NASA helped pioneer space flight. She received the Presid Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2015. Daniel Hill Williams. He was an African-American doctor in 1891. William opened Providence Hospital, the first med medical facility to have an interracial staff. William, William later became chief surgeon of the Freedmen's Hospital. Henley Caton I's person was Marie Maynard Daly. She influenced others by figuring out what causes heart attacks. She combined the ways of high cholesterol and clogged arteries, and it came together. Today, scientists have carried on the idea and have invested it more with today's technology. The person we studied was Marie Daly. She was born April 16, 1921, died October 28, 2003, and she was the first female to be awarded a Ph.D. in the chemistry in the USA. Emmett Chappelle was born October 25, 1925. He discovered one-cell plants and was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2007. Ben Carson was one of the first African-American neurosurgeons. He performed the first procedure of removing conjoined twins. He went to the University of Michigan. He now works as the United States Secretary of Housing and, Ur and Urban Development. Um, I researched Ruth Ellen Moore. She was born in Columbus, Ohio on May 19, 1903. She lived most of her life in Ohio and then she later went to college at Ohio State University. Um, she was known for, well, she was the first African American to gain a PhD in natural scientist and later became a bacteriologist. We researched Annie Easley, an African-American computer scientist, mathematician, and rocket scientist. She was born April 23, 1933. She worked for NASA and worked on Century Tech that was liquid that uses liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen to boost rockets into space. Science is happening all around us. Let's see what is happening this week in the Mad Scientist Minute. In science, we have been learning about different designs, processes, and groups that work to protect Earth's natural resources. We have learned that recycling, using clean energy sources, and protecting resources is the best way to protect our Earth. Dam store water helps provide in renewable energy and prevent floods, in addition to helping farmers' dams help prevent the loss of life and property caused by flooding. Yes. Solar panels help a lot. They don't pollute the air because they use solar energy and not fossil fuels. Generating electricity with solar power instead of fossil fuels can reduce greenhouse gas emissions, emissions particularly, particularly carbon dioxide. By going solar, you can reduce demands for fossil fuels. Protecting Earth's resources is an important job that we all have a part of. One way we can do even better at protecting our planet is by helping decrease global warming. Let's see what is happening in our innovation minute.
Have you ever felt lonely? I bet you have. It's a natural feeling, like happy, sad, and mad. At Cutter Morningstar, we have a way to, to figure out those emotions. Now, we have a thing called Buddy Bench we are making. So, it's not just a bench to set on. Oh no, it's more than that. It's a way to signal people and say, hello, I'm lonely, come play with me. So you're not like those photos over there, where you're playing by yourself. Now, sometimes you don't need, sometimes you wanna be alone. But if you want a friend, just go sit on that bench and you'll find that great friend. Now to 60 seconds and the life of a CMS student.